and we just got back from the store um, and here's our four chicks these ones that we got are mostly for just for fun they're kind of funky to look at they don't really they're not really gonna lay uh, very well we got two polish right here um, a buff laced and a gold laced polish uh, they only lay like two eggs a week or something, but um, they're really fun. They kind of have the afro and they're, they have fun personalities. So uh, we got I got those for the kids. Also getting there in the mix is a turkin. It's kind of a funny chicken. It has a naked neck chicken basically. And it uh, looks like a turkey, but no relation. It's just a chicken. And that one only lays like two, three eggs a week. So um, I also got a model java it's kind of a more rare breed uh there's not that many of them left and that's why they need the support of backyard flocks to um to ensure that the breed keeps going but um there's their food and their water dish and uh just wanted to talk a little bit about um when you go to the store to pick out your chicks obviously you can research the breeds. Um, I always do. I always look for a friendly, quiet chick that bears confinement well, is a good egg layer, mostly, and, um, you know, gets along, that'll get along with the kids and uh, the other chickens. Um, I don't like flighty or timid birds, so um, I kind of shy away from those. But when you go to the store, you can get um, uh, as pullets which means they're 95% guarantee that they're females. Um, a lot of places, um, they'll actually, if it turns out to be a rooster, they'll actually let you take them back. Um, just, you know, like your local farm stores will do that. Um, and then otherwise you can get them in a straight run, which means you don't know the sex until um, they're a little bit older. And that's the case here for my Polish. I originally just wanted to get one and uh, ended up getting two because chances are one of them is going to be a rooster. Um, so as soon as you get them home, you want to get them home, especially like right now it's cold weather, get them home, get them under the lamp. Um, see they're already starting to do the pecking order, see which one's in charge here. I think this Polish one has a, I've been seeing kind of picking at the other so he has a good chance to be a rooster here or at least the the girl in charge but um just to, when you pick out a chick a chick you want to make sure it's kind of alert uh see this one's kind of sleepy um they do tend to kind of just fall asleep a lot so that doesn't mean anything just move it around make sure it starts walking around and stuff and is alert um and uh, also you want to make sure that it doesn't have any gunk in its eyes, that um, the beak is cleared, and if you want to pick them up and kind of check their behinds, uh, a lot of problems that uh, chicks have at this age is they get clogged up and die. So um, just kind of make sure that their behinds are nice and clean, and uh, just get them under that lamp. Uh, make sure they don't drown in their water. Give them uh, plenty of food, and... Uh, you're good to go. They're probably going to stay in here for about two months because um, I want to introduce them to my current flock that I have and uh, two months assures that they're at a good size and uh, uh, ready to, you know, start the whole pecking order again with the older ladies. But um, so for now, they're just going to sit in here and uh, as they get older and bigger, uh, we're going to pull this uh, heating lamp up and uh, give them less heat and uh, just waiting next week we're going to get uh, our Indian runner ducks um, and we'll switch out the food you know probably a couple days before start switching out the food on these guys and give them the mixed flock raises, uh, raisers and uh, then they'll get to be good to go so when you uh, also wanted to talk a little bit about when you choose your flock um, you know, you can, um, research breeds for, you know, meat birds or, uh, if they're going to be, you know, out in the open, you're going to want breeds that are good foragers. I personally in the backyard, um, they get confined in the, 
in the chicken run. They get let out just once a day uh, in the afternoon. So I look for birds that get along. You know, they're um, friendly breeds. Um, I look for the more quiet ones for my neighbors. And, uh, you know, I good egg layers is big for me. Um, I'm probably going to go and pick up some more um, Americanas. Uh, they lay the blue and green eggs. Uh, I have one right now and she lays pink eggs, so you're never sure. Um, but that's another way you can uh, pick out your flock according to uh, egg color. Uh, that's kind of fun. I might do that once uh, my older ladies are ready to go. Um, but, you know, like Morans and Well Summers, they're good uh, breeds that lay dark brown eggs. Um, uh, Americana and Easter Eggers, they lay anyway, every way from pink to uh, uh, blue and greens. Um, uh, my Bard Rock lays, uh, you know, like cream, creamish brown eggs, but they have spots on them, so they're kind of cool. Um, and uh, so just research your breeds a little bit and pick out a diverse, fun flock. And here we go. Our chicks are all still here. Uh, we've had them for about three days. We're waiting four more days. We're getting our ducks. Um, but anyways, they're getting handled by the kids. Getting used to human contact. They're doing very well. Um, uh, we had one that was kind of very sleepy and lethargic so what we did for two days is we gave our we gave her some um, electrolytes uh, just diluted with water to, and try to just put it next to her beak and uh, so she would drink because her problem is that as you can probably see it's kind of gross but she gets plugged up she was really really plugged up uh, wasn't passing through um, the poop kind of hardens off and uh, um, creates a crust um, and it prevents them from being able to go to the bathroom so um, uh, she was getting lethargic and um, not eating and drinking as much but now she's uh, just another one of the girls running around she has more of a whiner than the others but um, this one just started uh, kind of get plugged up so every day I kind of check them and get a paper towel a wet paper towel and kind of wipe them off um, that way um, just ensures that they're doing good and uh, <laughs> how you doing with your chick good good this one's uh, my youngest daughter's chick it's a buff laced Polish and hopefully it's not a rooster huh uh -huh. yeah all right and uh, We'll make another video as soon as we get our duckies in and see how they're going to get along with these guys. Until then.